Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Raven playing cards from Magician Caroline Raven and designed by Lorenzo Gagliotti. The Raven playing cards were a Kickstarter project. It was successfully funded and these are the cards. As you can see, the cards were released in a red and a green. Uh, the tuck case paper is very elegant, very classic looking. It's a kind of a muted um, whitewash, it's kind of like a parchment coloring. And then uh, the tuck case itself has embossing all throughout. The front of the tuck case says Raven, and it of course has a Raven right there, and it does say playing cards on the side. The, the sides of the tuck case actually come together to form a hand. When you hold the red and green tuck cases together, you can see that hand, and it's the same um, picture that you're gonna see on the Jokers a little later on. Top says Raven, poker size. The bottom has some ad copy, and the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. There is no tuck seal, which is nice, and then the tuck flap also has an embossed Raven right there and the inside has a little logo and a diamond. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they are done on their retail stock. They do have air cushion finish and a modern cut. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. People always ask how these cards handle, how these cards feel. I can't tell you how they handle because that is subjective. What I can tell you is how thick these cards are and where they measure on a caliper. Um, if you were to compare this deck to say another deck of cards, uh, as far as thickness goes, they're about the same um, feel and handle as the Saturns and the Silver Split Spades from David Blaine. This deck is very elegant, very classic looking. Uh, it has improved quartz and standard pips. It's perfect to perform magic tricks, cardistry, and of course, to play cards around the table. This back design was designed by Stockholm 17. You might remember uh, he also did Requiem and Heretic and the number 17 decks that I reviewed as well. Um, the back design is very uh, linear and very has like an architect looking um, back design, but then you can have a lot of these mystical symbols. Uh, it's very, I don't want to say Masonic, but it has a very magical, very ancient feel to it. You have a medium sized border, and like I said, you can get this deck in both red and green. With this deck, you'll also get one gaff card, which is a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. The second gaff card is a double trouble queen. Uh, she's a queen of clubs on one side and a queen of diamonds on the other. Also with this deck, you'll get two original jokers. Um, one is that hand that you saw from the side of the deck, and the other one is kind of a mystical orb uh, atop a black raven. Your ace of spades is very beautiful. It's a large center pip that's made out of a tree. And so in the tree, you see some ravens, and it does have the raven logo there at the top. The pips and indice cards are gonna be classic and instantly recognizable. The court cards are all very beautiful and they are done in a stylized coloring that matches the deck design. You'll also notice that the faces and hands of all the courts have been redrawn to make them uh, just appear more modern. Well, that is it for this deck review of the Raven playing cards. If you'd like to learn more about Caroline Raven, you can visit her at her website. As always, I recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Hey, if you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.